Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. For today's video we are going to be switching it up and I'm giving you guys a what I eat in the day video so please let me know in the comments below if you like videos like this and you want some more. So we are starting off with this Trader Joe's yo yogurt strawberry smoothie. So I was about to go to the grocery store and I just wanted something that I could take with me. So that's what I grabbed on my way out of the door. And once I got back from the grocery store, one of the things that I make my mission is to cut up all of my fruits and vegetables that I'm going to snack on throughout the week as soon as I get back from the grocery store so that they're already prepped and I have no excuses as to why I'm not trying to eat healthy. So I'm starting off with some strawberries. It's one of my favorite fruits other than watermelon in the summertime. Oh my gosh. And I'm just cutting everything and I put them in their own respective containers. And next I'm cutting up some kiwi. It is a super fruit. So it makes me feel good that I'm eating that. And then after I've already taken the skin off, I like to rinse that inside of the same apple cider vinegar water rinse. The container that I got was huge. It was actually on sale. Typically I only get about six kiwis, so I was very excited to see that. And to move on to the veggie portion, I like to have some cucumbers as one of my snacks. I love it with some salt, pepper, and some ranch. But let me know in the comments below if you like your cucumbers with vinegar instead of a salad dressing. Next up, I'm moving on to a tomato. I don't typically get a tomato, but I knew that I wanted to have some kind of side salad throughout the week as like a snack or lunch. So I was just cutting up some tomato for that specifically. And then I am moving on to some bananas. I am cutting up and I'm going to freeze these bananas for my husband's smoothies. So I'm just cutting them up and putting them inside of a Ziploc bag that is freezer safe. And last but not least, I am dealing with onions. It is always the last thing that I do so that my eyes are not stinging throughout the whole process of cutting up everything else. And then I was trying out these fish sticks. So they actually were pretty good. Um, they were on the little bit harder side, but I would recommend them. They are kind of expensive though. And I was making a homemade tartar sauce and I was using some mayonnaise, some pickles, some dill, pepper, and lemon juice as you just saw. And I was being lazy so I cut up the half of a pickle on a plate instead of getting a whole cutting board for just that. And then I am building a little side salad to go along with the fish sticks from everything that I already just cut. And then you can see the finished product here with my fish sticks and salad. Looks so good, right? Balance of healthy and not healthy, <laughs> I would say. Okay, now we are on to dinner. I am going to make a crock pot curry chicken. I love this recipe because it is so quick and easy to do and I do not have to basically think about anything. So the first thing I like to do is just wash the chicken very thoroughly and then I like to pat it dry. I'm using bone in skin on chicken thighs for this. So I'm just patting it dry very thoroughly. And then I'm just going to season it with just some basic seasonings, but don't, don't leave yet. I know it's just salt and pepper for right now, but we're going to put all the seasonings inside of the crock pot and then it's going to combine in with the chicken and it's going to be so good. And mm -mm, so don't try to cancel me just yet. You can, you can keep watching until the end. So as you can see here, I'm just using some freshly cracked black pepper and then I'm going to use, I believe I used some pink Himalayan salt. It's one of my favorite salts to use. And I am just heating up my iron skillet and ooh, let me let y'all listen to this popping. Mm. Yes, sizzle, sizzle. All right now, all right now, no popping. Okay, and then I am putting in some cut up onions, which I already prepped at the beginning of the video in there with a can of coconut milk inside of the crock pot. And then I have some chicken broth that I'm putting in there. 
I am only going to measure about the same amount as the can of the coconut milk and then I'm just going to pour that in there as well. I like a lot of liquid inside of my curry because I just like it to pour over my rice. So let me know if you like a lot or a little bit of broth. So whenever I'm making curry chicken, I kind of sort of go back and forth. I like to try new things. So this was my first time trying out this Patex, I believe that's how you pronounce it, <laughs> curry. Um, I am not a spicy girl, so of course I had to get it in the mild flavor. Do not judge me if it's, if you believe that it's supposed to be spicy because I do not like spice. I'm kind of aggressive just mixing that in there, okay. Now to the seasonings, I am adding some black pepper, some salt here. Then I have, of course, the onion and garlic powder. Oh, okay, all right, she poured it in there, Jesus. <laughs> I guess never too much, never too much. And then I have some turmeric that I'm adding and some red pepper, just, just a dash, just a dash. Saw that little bit amount. <laughs> some ginger, and then last but not least, I am gonna be adding in some parsley flakes as well. I don't rely solely on the can that I use of the curry paste. I have to add in my own seasoning since I'm in my own everything else. And I am adding in some fresh garlic. I know y'all see the muscles coming out as I'm trying to squeeze that thing. Okay, you see the muscles popping out? Yes, come on. And I love garlic, so I think I added probably like six or seven. I wouldn't be surprised if it was eight. And after sizzling the tops of the chicken thighs, I am finally going to add those in. I like to have everything else mixed in before I add the chicken thighs. I just think it's easier for me to have everything mixed and then you can see how it looks before it is cooked. Yes, yummy. Once the chicken is done being cooked, I like to take it out and I like to chop it up into little bits. I just want it to be throughout the pasta. I don't want to just have four big pieces of chicken. I want it to be throughout the curry, period, okay? And then y'all, y'all caught me trying to be cute and pretty with my little, um, you know, with my design of this. You know, I mixed it up after this, but I thought this was, you know, I was trying. I'm gonna I'm a take some classes. Don't come for me. That's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And please be sure to like, comment, and love scrap. I'll see you in next week's video. Bye.